So there's a couple ways in the Outlast Trials to get some quick XP. Now, the quickest way is probably doing the Program X Trials. Just run through them all, beat the game, reset, go through them again. That's the quickest way, but in between that, you can go to the Sabotage the Lockdown Trial, and you should be able to finish this in under three minutes, four minutes every time, and you're gonna get about 350 XP and $185. Once you start getting more efficient at this, you can probably get 10 to 15 runs in per hour, so that's anywhere between 3,500 XP to 5,200 XP per hour. I recommend taking the Blind Rig. The mine really does help a lot on this one. It's probably the best one in the game, to be honest. So load this one up. And if you haven't done this one yet, basically your only objective is take this gas canister, make your way through the level, fill up a generator, and then leave. Now the pathing can change on this one, but if you always have a go left mentality, eventually you'll quickly make your way to this generator. So you always wanna start and try and make your way up into the left, right to these double doors. Now, if these were locked, you might have to go around, but eventually there will be a path to get you over to this side make your way into this bathroom here and you can go left or right again it's going to be dependent on what's open ideally once in here you can go through this doorway as you can see i had a bit of a, a roadblock but i had to go ahead and get past this guy it really doesn't matter if you take damage the goal is just finishing the level as quick as you can now, if this gate is open, you can go through there and immediately up here and around the corner, and then you're actually pretty much right at the generator. Now, I'll show some other examples after this, just kind of what can happen, like, I guess different pathing, but this is the quickest way to do it. Now, once you get to the generator here, everything's pretty standard. You do your switches, you put everything on, but this is where the rig comes into play. Put your mind down right here because more often than not, the cop or some other enemies are going to come see you at this generator. And by putting your rig down here, it just buys you enough time to actually finish the generator and turn it on. And once it's on, just turn around and head to the right and you're you're done. You just got to run over, hit the button. Now, there will be one enemy over here, but he's pretty slow. So as soon as you hit the button, I like to just kind of run around these stairs right here. I kind of get to the stairs. I walk around them. My stamina kind of, you know, resets and then I just run out of the trial. So depending on how quick you can do this and your RNG, you should be able to do this in three to four minutes, literally every single time. Honestly, it takes more time to load into the trial and to leave the trial. Once the trial's over, I just quit to the main menu and then load back in and start it back up. It seems like this is just quicker than normally clicking the exit button and going through that one section where you kind of walk through and I don't know if it's like a decontamination thing or whatever, but that section seems like it takes longer than just quitting and reloading back into my room and then just quickly running back to the terminal. Hopefully one day they had a restart feature so you don't have to do this or ever take that shuttle between missions. Just let me start the mission over again real quick, you know. But anyway, once you load back in, head back to the terminal. I reselect, sabotage a lockdown, hit start, and run it again. All right, so I switched over to recording this part live just to show you guys an idea of the pathing. Every time, of course, you're gonna grab the gas can and then make your way down the stairs here. Now, as soon as you make your way in, this gate here should always be open. Everything kind of leads back to the same spot. So here's that double door I went through earlier, and I can see I'm in the same room that leads to the bathroom. I just went in a different way. So as you play through this a few times, you'll start figuring out where to go if something is locked. So here we are in the bathroom. Instead of going left like I did earlier, I can just go over to the right. And I can make my way into this room. Now, earlier that gate was open, but since that's locked, I'll take a left. So I'm really just kind of worming myself around knowing eventually where I need to end up. And again, you'll just start learning the pathing and what room leads to what other one. So obviously that one's locked there, but I know by going through this one, I can go up and around this way. And from this room, I can make my way through this door over to the left here where the shooting range is. 
and I know when I'm in the shooting range, I can go through this way. Now, let's just say, for example, this one was locked. You could always turn around, hop back over here, make your way over here, and there's a different door. So again, if that one was locked, there's always another option. This one just takes me right here to the generator. And like we said before, we're gonna take our rig out. We're gonna throw that down on the ground. And we're gonna just start doing our generator. All right, so our generator is on. Well, that's unfortunate. Doesn't really matter. We run around, we jump up, go ahead and hit our button to bring the shuttle. And then we're gonna run up and around the stairs. I'm pretty sure I was far away from that. Again, doesn't even matter. And then we're out of there. Eventually you'll learn the different routes and if you come across an area that's locked, you'll know, okay, I just gotta turn around and go through that door or that window. But really there's only, I'm gonna say two or three ways that you ever have to worry about or learn because one of the ways are always open. And after a few runs, it'll become pretty easy to just run through it.